My name is Mark Myers. I'm the author of Why Jazz Happened, which looks at the 10 non-jazz events that had the biggest impact on the changing jazz styles between 1942 and 1972, jazz's golden three decades. <laughs> Why Jazz Happened is about a history of jazz between 1942 and 1972, but instead of treating this the way most jazz books do, which is what the musicians did during this time period, I looked at the external forces that caused jazz to change. And by looking at these social, technological, and economic events that put pressure on jazz to change, I found that there were basically 10 different jazz styles that emerged. 10 different events that put pressure that caused these new styles to surface during this 30-year period. The genius of the jazz musician is essential for jazz to change over the years. It takes nothing away from the artist. The jazz artist is only able to create what he creates because of these 10 different trends. That there are opportunities for the jazz artist to create and to reach the mass market, but it's the opportunities that allow for the opportunity for the music to surface. 1942 through 1972 is really the golden age for jazz. If you look at the years between 1917 and roughly 1941, jazz is mostly a dance folk form, meaning that the music is really created for the purpose of dancing, or it's a folk form like the blues. After 1972, you really see jazz become a historic repertory art form. It's looking backward for the most part. You've got legends looking back. You've got other musicians trying to replicate earlier time periods. But between 1942 and 1972, jazz musicians for the first time become empowered to create their own music. They're in charge of their own creative um, uh, output. And what's more, they're able to improvise, which they had done to some extent earlier. But jazz after 1942 really does become this improvising form uh, that hadn't been seen prior. For more information about my book, Why Jazz Happens, go to whyjazzhappened.com.